More than 200,000 Ohioans were in military service during World War I. About 6,700 were killed or died of disease. The Ohio Military Museum Display Room at MAPS commemorates Ohio's war veterans. It has artifacts from most U.S. conflicts dating as far back as the War of 1812. There are a variety of World War I weapons in the museum used by combatants from different sides of the conflict. World War I was a struggle on a global scale. It involved nearly all of the major European powers. Germany, the Austria-Hungarian Empire, France, Great Britain, Italy, Russia, as well as the United States. The war started in the Balkans in southeastern Europe and spread through a series of interlocking treaties and alliances. The museum offers a sampling of some of the handheld weapons used in the conflict. The Browning Model 1900 was John Browning's first production semi-automatic pistol. It was produced by the Fabrique Nationale Arms Company in Belgium and was designated the M1900FN. It was in production for 11 years and about 1 million were manufactured. It was the first Browning production pistol to use a slide assembly. It had a 7 round detachable magazine in the pistol's grip. The Mauser C96 broom handle pistol, also known as the Red 9, was produced during World War I for the Imperial German Army. It fired a 9mm bullet rather than the standard Mauser 7.65mm round. To keep it from being confused with its smaller caliber cousin, a large 9 was engraved in the grips and painted red. Approximately 130,000 were manufactured and about 100,000 were issued to German troops. Some considered the C96 as a substitute for a light carbine. As trench warfare developed, it gained popularity. The C96 is a semi-automatic pistol, meaning it fires with each pull of the trigger. It has a distinctive integral box magazine in front of the trigger. The magazine is loaded from the top. The long barrel, along with its high velocity cartridge, offered better performance in both range and penetration than most of its contemporary pistols. It was used by the Rocketeer in the film of the same name, as well as being cosmetically modified into Han Solo's blaster in Star Wars. The Roth Stryer M07 was a self-loading semi-automatic pistol, meaning recoiled from a fired bullet would load the next cartridge into the firing chamber. It was the first of this type issued by a major army and primarily was used by the Austria-Hungarian cavalry services. It differed from other semi-automatic pistols in that it held its cartridges in a non-removable magazine in its grip. The magazine was loaded via a stripper clip, which is a device which holds several cartridges to insert them at once instead of one at a time. The stripper clip was put in place in the firearm, and the cartridges pressed into the weapons magazine, stripping them into the pistol. The stripper clip was generally discarded. Another singular feature of the M07 was the way the barrel rotated during the recoil reload process. The M07 fired an 8mm round. The 07 in its designation stood for the year it was designed, 1907. About 99,000 pistols were produced between 1908 and 1918. The Webley Mark VI revolver, used by British forces, was introduced in 1915 as the standard issue sidearm, replacing the Webley Mark I and Mark IV. It was a top brake revolver, meaning the cylinder which held the cartridges as well as the muzzle hinged in front of the trigger guard and rotated downward. As it opened, a device ejected the spent bullet casings, unlike some other revolvers in which the cartridge case was removed manually from fixed or swinged out cylinders. The Mark VI held six 455 caliber bullets, making it one of the most powerful top break revolvers produced. It was standard issue to British officers, pipers, and range takers. Later, it was issued to other British forces where a rifle would be impractical. It was a rugged pistol, able to take the muddy and unfavorable conditions of trench warfare. The P-08 Artillery Luger was a variant of the standard Luger pistol designed by George Luger. 
introduced in 1917, it had a 7.9 inch barrel compared to the 4.75 inch barrel of the Model 00, or the 3.9 inch barrel of the 08 version. It was called the Artillery Luger because it was intended for use by German artillery units who could not be burdened with a larger and more unwieldy rifle. Artillery units often operated in areas where they might be surrounded by enemy troops. To provide a better defense than a standard sidearm, the pistol could be converted into a carbine with the attachment of a shoulder stock, the stock mounted to a lug on the heel of the pistol. The Luger held seven rounds in a spring-fed magazine, but could also be equipped with a 32-round snail drum magazine for more firepower. The Mauser Car 88 was a bolt-action carbine that was designed in the 1890s. Bolt action meant the user had to hand operate a mechanism to load a cartridge into the firing chamber. Then after firing, eject the spent cartridge and load another cartridge into the chamber. KAR stood for carbine, which was a smaller and lighter weapon than a standard issue K98 Mauser rifle. The Car 88 was designed to be placed in a cavalry scabbard. It was a variant of the Gewehr 88 commission rifle which was the first German rifle to use smokeless powder instead of gunpowder. The Car 88 fired an 8mm bullet and had an 18-inch barrel. It held 5 rounds and was loaded with an end-block clip that held cartridges. Both clip and cartridges were inserted together into the carbine's fixed magazine. The clip was ejected from the bottom of the magazine after firing or chambering the last round. The carbine was manufactured by two private companies in the city of Seoul, C.G. Hainel as well as V.C. Schilling. In 1891, the Erfurt Arsenal also produced 25,000 of the carbines. The M1898 Austrian Rostgasser pistol was a double action revolver. This meant that each time the trigger was pulled, a bullet would be fired. The pistol held eight cartridges. The weapon was a standard issue sidearm for Austria-Hungarian army officers and higher ranking enlisted soldiers. It also was the issued sidearm for machine gun crews. About 200,000 were manufactured. It fired an 8mm round. It had a spring-loaded ejector rod beneath the barrel and a loading gate which was a trap door behind the cylinder on the right side of the pistol. To reload, the user would swing the gate down, then slide the ejector rod backward to expel the empty cartridge casing. The user would place a fresh round in the cylinder where the spent cartridge had been, rotate the cylinder to the next spent cartridge, and repeat the ejection and loading process. To speed placement of fresh cartridges in the cylinder, pulling the trigger during reload rotated the cylinder. As a safety measure, opening the gate disconnected the hammer from the trigger so it could not be fired accidentally. The grip was perpendicular to the frame instead of angled. The barrel was just under 4.5 inches. These weapons are just a sampling of the World War I artifacts on display in the Ohio Military Museum display room at MAPS. The museum commemorates Ohioans who have served in times of conflict and peace and is a tribute to the bravery and patriotism of those who defended the United States. For more information about the weapons used in World War I and the war itself, the Louise Timken Library and Archives at MAPS has books and resources available to the public. The museum is in Green, Ohio, on State Route 241, on the west side of the Akron-Canton Regional Airport. A replica of a P-51 Mustang fighter plane from World War II stands guard at the entrance to the driveway of the museum. MAPS has more than 50 aircraft on display and is open to the public. Check the MAPS website for hours of operation.